I've got baby gamer going on. Check out his <gasps> setup. God! I have until March to get book three edited. I can't get it to show her shoes. Show those shoes. This is how I write best, you guys. In my pajamas, late at night. Ayo! 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 Good morning, guys. So, our morning has been sent. One, sending off the final edited copy to my publisher, so that should be in print very shortly here. I'd say within the next week, if not sooner. Last time I think it took like 48 hours for her to have it out, so. Anyway, I told you I've been working on this cleaning routine. We have some grocery shopping to do tonight. I had to make our meal plan for the week, so. It has been very, very busy. Ireland is off to her friend's house this afternoon. She's spending the night and helping make her friend Amelia's birthday cake. Her birthday's next weekend, but her mom has to work, so they're gonna celebrate tonight. So that'll be kind of fun for her. She's making an Oreo ice cream cake. Anyway, I told you I've been working on a new cleaning routine, and one of it is to kind of break my house down into zones and just do a little bit each day in whatever particular zone I'm working on. And so today, the zone I'm working on is the school room, which is in desperate need of toys cleared out of here. The kids love to bring their toys in. Toys cleared out and then some wipe down. So today is just gonna be a quick reorganization in this room and then probably a spot mop and a light detailed dusting. So my focus zone for today was the school room and it is done. I did a little bit of detailed dusting in here and just trying to get everything back in order. The only thing I have left to do is tonight, I wanna try to work on this if I have time, if not tonight, then tomorrow. Um, this has the rest of the parts to one of Aspen's Christmas presents, which for right now, I just stuck in the corner of the schoolroom to kind of give him something extra to do, but I actually think our living room closet, once I have organized that, is where I'm gonna put this and a couple of the other big toys that Zane and Aspen like to play with out in, on the dining room table and stuff. So, but all in all, I think it looks pretty good and it didn't take me long. I designated 30 minutes to spend on this today and not every day will I have time to do the 30 minute zone focus, but that's okay because it's a rotating system. So I'll eventually hit these rooms anyway. But today was just focus, detailed dusting and pick up and making sure things go back where they belong. So there's a little work I wanna do up in this area here and to get this straightened back out, but that wasn't the focus for today. All right, guys, so we're back home. And look, I've got Baby Gamer going on. Check out his setup. God, I found! Oh, no! I gotta get in that car! Oh, no, I got... Oh, they're coming for Why are they... Ew, 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 ew. Uh, <laughs> Over here, I've got my pile of laundry that needs folded and put away Hi, for the guys. day. Hi, guys! Hi, Pootie! Hi, guys! Hi, Pootie. I can't hear you because I'm... I'm doing the game. Oh. <laughs> Why? He's like all pro. You're not even old enough to be all pro. <laughs> we did not get our shopping done today. We were actually, he's asking for his brother's help. <laughs> Braxton, would you help your brother? Anyway, I have been doing this daily checklist every day since I started this new cleaning program and it has everything I need to do right up on the refrigerator next to my meal plan with it and I've said before I'm a big checklist person but this one's a little bit different you guys because this one has everything I need to do for the day and then this constant routine that I'm doing even though some things are changing but I have this constant routine going on so there's a few things I haven't hit yet I'm gonna get those really quick before I hit my writing room and work on creating the vlog that sort of stuff kind of my nighttime nighttime sit down wind down stuff that I do um, but I have, I have been on the phone all day, or not, well, on my phone, working on emails, getting stuff set up. I have until March, you guys. It's a self-inflicted deadline, but one that my publisher agreed to. So I have until March to get book three edited. So that's not very far away. I need to get it done. So hence, putting edit book on my 
on my daily schedule. As I get this down pat a little bit more, then I'll share with you guys kind of what I've been doing to help keep the house clean. But like some of the things that I've been doing, as you can see, I did dishes earlier today. Now we weren't on our meal plan a lot today. We did a lot of leftovers, so I guess we still kind of were. We had a ton of leftovers to use up. But since we had to go to Dubuque, like I said, my schedule needs to be very flexible because there's a lot of times we're running, we're having to be on the road a lot. And so I need this cleaning schedule to be very flexible. So I was able to sit and look at my list of things to do and what could I kind of let go this evening that didn't have to be done. I've been on a system of doing my dishes after each meal. So we weren't doing much in the way of dishes tonight. So this is all I have. I'm gonna leave this for the night. This will be easy to knock out with my dinner dishes. So that's one less thing on my schedule that I have to worry about tonight. And instead, I'm gonna focus on my five minute cleanups because there's not much to do there either, but it's stuff that I wanna keep and maintain in all the main rooms. So that little bit will be okay for the night. But I do wanna get that laundry at least folded, even if I don't get it put away until tomorrow, at least I'll have it folded. So T, what do you have going on here? I'm making headbands. For your dolls yeah look at this you guys she's got she's not doing her taxes i swear <laughs> <laughs> she's got her uh what are those pipe cleaners in there yeah I got one pipe cleaner. and then she's got my beads a box of beads look at that huge box yeah for some reason i don't have like red and black though yeah you need more beads don't you yeah <laughs> It's funny to say because she has so many, but there's some colors that she's missing. Yeah. So she can't do as much. She looks like a little lady sitting up here. <laughs> little feet hanging down. This is this is Helena, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's really Draculaura, but... I like to rename all my ones that I have doubles of. Yeah, and then she'll like customize their outfits and stuff sometimes. Make things for them. She's so pretty though. I love these shoes. Look at those fancy shoes. Oh, you moved her. Yeah, they're Frankie Steins. Let me see those fancy shoes. Oh, I don't know if it'll zoom in on it. Let me see your shoes, Draculaura. <laughs> it won't focus. Let me see your shoes. <gasps> I can't get it to show her shoes. Show those shoes. There they are. Look at those awesome shoes, you guys. It was worth the second to focus. <laughs> She's so pretty. And by the way, you were thinking about pony beads. Mm-hmm. You still vlogging? I am. Um, <laughs> Hobby Lobby has a, a bunch of red ones that come in a pack for like a dollar. Yeah, we're trying to come up with some things. Oh, so I got to tell you about this, guys. Hold on a second. All right, so if you notice, I'm hiding out in T's room because it's quiet in here, and I'm trying to put the vlog together. So it's like, it's about 11.30 at night, you guys, and I'm like trying to rush it. I'm try I try to get them out. We are having a camp out our way. I try to get them out by like 11, 30, 12 o'clock at the latest. Sometimes it hits more like at one in the morning my time. But we've been busy tonight and I have kids that are pretty much sleeping, but one little one that's still restless. So I'm in here where it's quiet trying to get him to go to sleep. So that's what I'm doing at 11 30 at night and then it's time to hit the writing room but I got to tell you why I'm looking for these beads so we're actually trying to put together stuff for this upcoming convention that I'm attending so if you are not on um, our love jar life page I have that link down below you can check it out there and a lot of this stuff comes out sooner or like exactly where the links are how you can get tickets stuff like that if you want to go um, but we're actually going to be going to Madison, Wisconsin for my very first convention to MightyCon. So I'm really excited about it, you guys. It's a big deal for me. This is such a cool thing. But we're trying to come up with like little things to give away and stuff like that. Just kind of things to make the booth a little cooler when you come up to it. So I'm pretty excited about it. We got the banner ordered. That's what I was doing when I showed you that footage in Staples tonight. We were ordering the banner and um, there's like a background banner that we'll be ordering and then like the table skirt, stuff like that. Um, I think we're going to make some bookmarks, which will be really cool. So I'm pretty excited about it. But that's what we're looking for specific beads because in the stories there's each of the women have a necklace that's really special to them. And so I want these ones to reflect my main character Ruby's necklace. So that's what we're looking for specific colored and styles of beads for. So that's what we've been doing. But now I got to get back to this vlog 
so I can hit that writing room because I have until March to get those edits. I am in the writing room. It's about 1.35 in the morning and I'm currently working with one of my fellow authors in my night writing group. And I have been working for the last half hour between two different pages of my story trying to fix POV switches. So if you don't know what those are, those are point of view switches. And right now I have basically what's called head hopping. So one minute you're in one character's mind and hearing their thoughts and then the next minute you're in the next character's mind and hearing their thoughts. And so that's a big no-no. And if you do have to switch between POVs, it needs to be kept very minimal between like one or two characters and it should never be done within the same chapter, especially not within paragraph to paragraph. So it was a very rookie mistake that I made when I first started writing and that's some of what we're revamping in these books. That's actually the main thing that we've been revamping in these books is this head hopping. So I'm trying to switch between father and son and just have it from father's point of view and not father and son hopping between their their heads. So that's what I'm working on right now. This is how I write best, you guys, in my pajamas late at night. Mm -hmm.